Um, so quickly. I have, a, I have a story about our friend Brandon Cavillo. Mm-hmm. You may know part of the story. Um, Brandon surprisingly ended up having sex the other day. Okay. I swear it on my life. How do you know that? I, I know a lot of things. I mean, he told you? No, I was sitting outside the window just planning my next prank. Outside his window? Yeah. Shut up. No, I'm kidding. He told me. And, oh. and then I found out who the girl was. Yeah. And it turns out Dom has slept with her. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Eskimo Brothers. Eskimo Brothers. Yeah. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification to get notified about new posts and to help the channel grow. And Brandon and Brandon didn't think this was a big deal. Uh-huh. And then I'm like, dude, did you know what you just did? You just yeah. slept with the lions, like, you know. Yeah, Dom is our friend who's gets a lot of girls. And you don't sleep you don't sleep with friends' friends. Or you and don't might sleep. have some sexual diseases in his past. He's had chlamydia twice, which is amazing the our friend dom has had chlamydia once and then he got rid of it and then he went back to the same girl and i don't know maybe when he was explaining to her that she has chlamydia he got turned on and had sex with her again Mm -hmm. that's the only way i would imagine it but he got chlamydia twice yeah and um i don't know why he keeps getting rid of it at this point he should just stick with it (laughs) it should just be a thing but um but yeah it's it's really it's really gross and brandon has it Chlamydia? The girl's lovely. The girl's lovely? Yeah. Oh, but this isn't the girl that has chlamydia. You... No, I know, but the girl that they, oh. they both had sex with is a lovely girl. There's something about... Very cute. There's something about... And smart. I would never... If I was single, I would never hook up with a girl that my friend has hooked up with. Oh, really? Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, you and I are different like that. Because you, you're you trying to hook up with my girlfriend constantly. So I mean, the... I have. I mean... Oh. I mean, you knew that. Well, yeah. I just thought we, we were going to pretend... I thought we, I thought we were talking... Oh, we're always working to say it on the podcast. I yeah. will take this out. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I would I would never, and especially I would never sleep after. I'm, I have a hard time sleeping, or like I have a hard time sitting on Dom's bed because I know of his past diseases. Yeah? Yeah. But you're not germaphobic in anything in I'm any way. I'm not germaphobic. Way. You know what Dom was doing the other day? What? My friend Dima, who's visiting from home, cut his hand. Yeah. And, to Dom, and Dom pulls out. Dom pulls out a like a dish rag. He pulls out like a dish rag from his closet to give to Dima so he can wrap it around his hand. And guess what? I take the dish rag and I find out that there's cum all over it. How do you know? Well, how did I you know that? And I, and I know How do you know Dom, it was cum? It could have been anything. Yeah, well, I, but I know what Dom's cum tastes like, so it was definitely <laughs> <laughs> Regard, regardless, what I'm trying to say is Dom's disgusting. And Brandon had sex with a girl that he's had sex with, which it just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, Brandon, Brandon goes to me and he goes, okay, dude, I know I messed up. Please don't tell. Please don't tell Dom about this. The entire world on your podcast. <laughs> yeah, please. Don't, or don't tell the entire world. And, and then the next day we see Dom, Alex somehow forgets that Brandon told us not to tell anybody. Ooh. And Alex goes, yo, Dom, guess who Brandon had sex with? And, <laughs> and Dom's like, who? And I'm like, Alex, shut up. And then and then Alex is like, oh, shit. And I'm like, okay, Dom, since the cat's out of the bag, we're not going to tell you the girl's name. But next time you and Brandon are in the same room, we're going to tell you to make it really uncomfortable. Right. And then fast forward. Fast forward three nights later. We're going to USC. It's, um, it's me and Brandon. We're hanging out. It's me, Brandon, and Alex, Corinna. There's, there's a couple other of us. And then, and then Dom walks to the group. With the girl that Brandon's been having sex with. Yeah. And we just start cracking up. And Dom looks at us and he goes, what? What's what's going on? And Dom's like, oh my God, is this the girl? <laughs> <laughs> and Brandon, Brandon, oh my God, poor dude. His face is just, it's red as a tomato. And he's just like, I do not want to be here right now. And um, yeah, that's how we, that's how they found out that. They all knew that they were having sex with each other. And what, what was life for the girl? Oh, and you want to know how it ended up that yeah. night? The, the night was kind of awkward. Brandon. <laughs> so Brandon, uh, even though even though she came with Dom, right. right? She came with Dom. Right. Brandon ended up like walking around with her at the party the entire time. Yeah, yeah. like the entire time he was walking around with her, like hanging out, like they were dating. Yeah. And Brandon, Brandon had another girl at USC that he was talking to, but he couldn't talk to her. Because he was scared he would make this girl mad. You right. Know, you know, the girl that Dom and him have had sex with. And at the end of the night, we're all going home. Brandon gets in my car 
and then the girl gets in her car and drives Dom home. Wow. <laughs> and Brandon just like just like looks back at her and he's just like, huh. Okay. And then the entire car ride, Brandon does his famous he does his famous speech where he goes, I don't even care. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't care. <laughs> we we're just like, Brandon, shut up. You care, it's a problem. But <laughs> poor Brandon, I feel really bad for him. 